I was making the observation, I don't know how many times I've interviewed you, and every time I interviewed you, it was another show. Yes. <laughs> but like, <laughs> a show here, a show there, a show here. But there are a couple you all remember, Kelly, for including this one, Gossip Girl. Gus Vanderwoodsons share more than you could possibly imagine. Yeah, like when you used to steal my leg warmers when we were teenagers. Yes, just like that. Or when you stole my husband and decided to have a baby with him behind my back. <laughs> wow. Just like, oh, just like that, right? Yeah. Oh, but, oh. but Kelly's here for something completely different. She's yeah. in the fight of her life because she wants in real life to get her kids back in the United States. She was in a divorce with her husband who lives, I think, in Monaco now. Yeah. And a judge here in California ruled that under all the circumstances, it's better for the kids to be there with you. can go visit. Yeah. He cannot come here to visit. So your kids should be there. Next to you is, we got the bomb Wendy here. Murphy. <laughs> Wendy bomb Murphy, you know Trouble's here. in Town when Wendy's here. <laughs> Wendy Murphy's an attorney who has fought for women's constitutional rights and issues of uh, sexual harassment, campus violence, all of that stuff. Mm -hmm. um, this case seems heartbreaking because the judge has to make a Solomonic decision about where the kids go. Did the judge make a mistake? Oh, the judge not only made a mistake in terms of Solomonic decisions, she actually exceeded her authority that she didn't have because it is unconstitutional to send any American citizen, man, woman, or child to live in a foreign country. So this That's is the judge we're looking at right Teresa now. Teresa Baudet, mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, she, I think she knows that what she did was illegal and unconstitutional. The question is, when you violate a child's right in a family court case, where do you go to fix it? Because kids don't have status. The case is between the mother and the father. In this case, the children's rights were violated. They were shipped at ages two and five to live in France. Nobody's French. He's Kelly's German, French. right? He's, yeah, German. he's German. The kids are not French. You can't send American citizens to live in a when, foreign when country it, where they have no rights. I, I you, yeah, go ahead. Kelly. Yeah, well, I think what most people don't understand, and I certainly didn't understand until I met Wendy, was that ch ch our rights children's constitutional rights trump parental rights. So in a case like this, their rights should have been protected uh, well, way ahead of our rights. That's a logical even. position. No, I don't know about so, a legal position. That's a logical position yeah. to take. The, the, the circumstance here is clouded because your ex-husband can't come into the United States, am well, I correct? We don't know that It was sure. a work <laughs> visa situation or no? It was only a work visa that was revoked that we know of, and there's not even proof of that really in, in evidence. Um, so it was based on a lot of yeah, he said he told really, the judge yeah. his work visa was revoked. The judge took more from that and said he's forbidden to enter the United States. There's really no proof at all that he's forbidden to enter the United States. And why, by the way, if indeed he is forbidden, why would that be? I don't, don't know, know, but it doesn't matter. If he's well, forbidden, well, but Just to fill in the story here, illegal a activities? Well, this is what's terrifying, is that you have two small children who are U.S. citizens who now their father is not, for some reason, allowed back into this country, and that's mm -hmm. a big deal. I mean, if if your work visa is revoked, we know you can come in as a visitor, right? So if if he's not allowed back into the United States, I mean, what, what did he do? to not be allowed back into the and United why didn't States. And why wasn't that considered? See, because yeah. if why it didn't was, the judge we don't ask, know why. So, why didn't the judge say, yeah. why aren't you the, in yeah, this country? country? So these are all the yeah. like different legal issues, but I'm just looking at you as a mom, yeah. Kelly, and I'm thinking, how can you be away from these babies who yeah. are under the age of 10? Yeah. How can you be, how, what is your heart like inside right now? And what keeps you going? Well, um, what keeps me going is the health and well-being of my children. What keeps me going is, is people like Wendy who have really uh, pro bono showed up in my life. It took me a year and a half to get representation. So I sat there going back and forth to France knowing this was wrong in so many ways and I didn't even know in how many ways it was wrong. Um, I've been back and forth about 70 times. I mean, it's obviously, you know, my, in terms of work, I've just worked here and there, so I was available to did see you, my did kids. Did you have to declare bankruptcy? I did. Because? I did. Well, because I was getting legal bills for fifty and one hundred fifty thousand dollars a month, and even though I was making a decent salary on Gossip Girl, I never worked on hiatus. I, you know, took time off to have kids. Are so. those uh, legal bills a little unconscionable? What do you think, Wendy? Yeah, I mean, I don't know how you charge somebody like Kelly. Um, oh, millions of dollars ultimately 
and lose and no on a basic like, question like the you know my my ex husband it is i mean he sued uh, some very large companies so i think when he approached this it was more like a lawsuit and we know that when you sue someone long enough they won't have any more of money course, left yes so i think that was what happened really yeah. what do the kids yeah. know and what do you tell them like do, do they look at you when yeah. you come to visit them they do it's really hard um, because we How know old are they, they ask um, now helen is going to be 6 and Hermes is 8 okay so, um, but you know, it's h mommy. How many more days do we have? How many more days? It's you know. Are you still bless you? Are we? St are you still fighting for us? You know, it's that kind of thing. But they've had to be strong, and I've had to be strong. You know, and we do that by staying super positive, and sort of taking How's the your high anger? road. Huh? How's your anger? Oh gosh, you know, I I um I love Instagram, and I love all these. Th I, you know, yoga, and I like I said I. I, I get, you know, Marianne Williamson quotes. How, you know, I think yes. you realize that people have it so much worse on the planet, and you have to put everything in perspective. This was a huge injustice, and yes. hopefully we can pay it forward, and this won't happen to other U.S. citizens. Well, Wendy, children, I'm but fond of saying oftentimes, and you know the phrase, <laughs> the law is an ass. <laughs> and it's not always an ass, but in this case, it certainly is. Uh, what judge, you're sitting here now, maybe we're not hearing the whole story, mm. but what judge would look at this situation and rule that way, given what you said here. I, I can't speak for what, Teresa. What's the Ray. rationale? I, I, I can't speak for the judge. I can only say that she knows what she did was wrong. She knows that she had no authority to literally send children to live in a foreign country, which is why I took the children's interest to federal court in New York. Mm -hmm. I filed a lawsuit in federal court in New York with the children as the plaintiffs, and we sued the federal government, basically saying, you have an obligation to rescue us from exile. Do mm -hmm. something. Yeah. And we took it to the president. We had a petition. And they had the petition. The celebrities got involved. Yeah. Yeah. Succeeded Kim the got involved. Oh, so you got we all are the pressuring numbers. the government yes. in every way yeah. possible to make sure they What is the president's it. responsibility here? Well, we'll find out. I mean, he's got a petition. The White House yeah. has this petition process. And supposedly, if you reach a certain level, the president will do something. We're asking him. He's got two daughters. How would you like it if your children were forced to live in a foreign country? Help these children. Mm -hmm. Bring them back. We've got the State Department, they've got a lot of questions. Everyone's aware. Yeah. Everyone's State aware Department. now, so there's no excuse anymore. In other right. words, everyone's been made aware of this situation as an, as an American mother, as American citizen children, that this was wrong. And I think it's really important now, at this point, the way this was set up, is that I have to ask for political support. The way this judgment was set up, there's no other way but to say we need so what, political you, your, support. Your parenting has never been in question? Never. never. Okay. She wrote, these are both great parents. It's only because the father can't come into the And US. the father has refused to speak about it because he yeah. says he doesn't want to bring negativity well, think, into it. Yeah, well, for some people, transparency and the truth is negative. You know, I mean, he can hide out over there in Monaco all he wants, but the truth is is when you're trying to take my rights away as a mother when I've done nothing wrong and you take U.S. citizen children out of their country and now not allow them back, there's something wrong. And, and let me be, how let me is be clear about something. If this kids. could happen to Kelly Rutherford, yeah. who spent millions trying to stop this from happening, it can happen to any American we citizen go, child. You give us the, what, what's the good solution? What happens? <laughs> well, what? We are going to win. Let me be but, clear. But who we does will what? win. Who says what? We are, well, we're in federal court. We're going to try to win a judgment in federal court. We're, we're in the White House. We're going to expect President Obama to help. You know, the Send Air Force One. We want the plane. We want Air yeah. Force One to go pick the kids up. I hate to be the person who says it, but the president has ISIS to worry about. Oh, no, do, he, you know what I'm he saying? has people, though. Okay, his people. And I pay yeah, his people, yeah. so he mm -hmm. will respond. And we have the State Department with the capacity to help, too. Somebody has to rescue children who are shipped into exile. If it's not my government that does it, and who does it? Yeah. The thing that children who are born in this country from parents who are not here legally, they get to stay, but yours are being shipped. That's the part I think that's- Excellent point. Yes. Think about that. If Kelly were an illegal alien in this country with American born children, they would all still be here. Think about that. Mm -hmm. She may have to renounce her American citizenship in Great, order to fit it? under the president's executive order and keep her children here. I think How a, weird I is think that? I think there's a lot of people that can do something. And I yeah. think that, you know, even with the David Goldman case, you know, once, you know, Meredith Vieira and um, Hillary Clinton got behind him and they went on CNN and Larry King. I mean, it became mm -hmm. like obvious that Using somebody celebrity had to do something. For, for good. Well, yeah. I think yeah. it's That's political, what we should whatever. Using yes. it for good? Yeah. 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 That's great. Hey. Oh, we wish you. Thank you so much. Best of luck. It's so good to see you. Oh, man. good yeah. to see you too. Wendy, I'm afraid Thank of you. you. <laughs>
<laughs> he never wants to be on the opposite side of. Oh. Yeah, no, not good. <laughs> All right, thank you both for being thank here. Thank you. Thank you. Best, thank you. Best, best of luck.